If you ask anyone about space rockets, the first company that comes to mind is SpaceX. Some might say this is because Musk has a huge influence on social media and constantly promotes SpaceX. While there's some truth to that, SpaceX has truly earned its place through hard work and dedication. As a result, they have been breaking long-standing launch records set by giants like NASA and Roscosmos. In fact, they have just shattered another incredible record, and the impact is nothing short of revolutionary. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Launching a rocket is arguably one of the most difficult achievements in human history. The funny thing is, once we were launching rockets frequently and sending them to far destinations like the moon with ease, but then we somehow forgot how we did it. Musk explains this issue by comparing it to the ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids. They not only became unable to build similar structures, but also forgot how they did it. The same is true for everything. If you don't build upon existing progress, you forget how you came so far and eventually forget everything. This was happening until SpaceX came along and reignited the space race. Now SpaceX is almost launching rockets as often as airplanes. Just four days ago, SpaceX successfully launched its 100th mission for the year, setting a new benchmark in the aerospace industry. The Falcon 9 rocket, which has become a workhorse for SpaceX, has been instrumental in this record-breaking streak. Since its first flight in 2010, the Falcon 9 has completed over 350 launches, making it one of the most reliable rockets in the industry. This rapid development has accelerated in recent years, with a significant surge in launches since 2020. In 2022, SpaceX achieved a milestone of 60 flights, surpassing the long-held record by Russia's Soyuz for most launches in a year. The following year, this number soared to 91 launches. This year, SpaceX aims even higher with a goal of 148 launches, nearly matching the combined total of the past two years. Comparing this to traditional aerospace organizations, the difference is huge. For instance, NASA, with all its resources and experience, has not managed to achieve such a high launch frequency in recent years. This isn't to say NASA isn't impressive. After all, they landed humans on the moon. But SpaceX's approach has allowed them to outpace even the most established players in the field. The Falcon 9's counterpart, the Falcon Heavy, though not as frequently launched, has made its mark with stable and impressive flights. Debuting in 2018, Falcon Heavy transformed from a medium-lift rocket into a heavy-lift powerhouse. After a period of relative quiet, Falcon Heavy launched five missions in 2023, and this year saw its 10th successful flight. In the first half of this year alone, SpaceX has conducted 68 launches from its three active launch pads, significantly contributing to the United States' lead in global space launches. Musk recently presented a graph comparing the orbital payload mass of the world and SpaceX. In 2023, SpaceX delivered 1,200 tons into orbit, 3.4 times more than the rest of the world combined. What makes this even more impressive is the comparison with other global players. For example, China, which has been aggressively expanding its space program, launched approximately 50 rockets in the same period. While this is commendable, it still falls short of SpaceX's achievements. Similarly, the European Space Agency and Russia have not matched this level of activity, highlighting SpaceX's unique position in the industry. SpaceX's achievements in reusability further set it apart from its competitors. As of the first half of 2024, SpaceX has attempted 337 landings with the Falcon rocket family, achieving 326 successful landings. This success owes much to both ground-based and drone ship recovery systems. Utilizing drone ships, SpaceX has completed 265 landings, with most initial failures or partial failures occurring during the early stages of development. The use of drone ships for landing rockets is another innovation that sets SpaceX apart. Looking ahead, SpaceX has ambitious plans for its Starship rocket. Designed to be fully reusable, the ultimate goal for the Starship is to enable thousands of flights annually, paving the way for establishing a self-sustaining city on Mars. The concept of reusability is taken to new heights with Starship. 
Unlike the Falcon rockets, Starship is designed from the ground up to be fully reusable, aiming to revolutionize space travel. This vision includes the use of the Mechazilla arm, an innovative method for catching and reusing rockets. No other organization has attempted such a feat, and its success could further cement SpaceX's leadership in the industry. SpaceX has already launched the Starship on four separate occasions, each contributing to the development and refinement of this groundbreaking spacecraft. The first orbital test flight on April 20, 2023, aimed to test the rocket's ability to reach orbit and re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Although it didn't achieve complete success, the data gathered was invaluable for future missions. The second orbital test flight built on the insights from the first flight, testing enhancements in the heat shield and re-entry procedures, providing critical information about Starship's performance under orbital conditions. The third orbital test flight focused on refining the Raptor engines and optimizing the fuel systems, ensuring the rocket could handle the stress of multiple launches and re-entries. The fourth flight nearly accomplished everything, from a smooth launch to a planned landing into the ocean. Before the launch, SpaceX emphasized that the fourth flight test shifted their focus from achieving orbit to demonstrating the ability to return and reuse Starship and Super Heavy. One notable aspect of these tests is the extensive use of cameras. Starship is equipped with over 20 cameras, both on board and around the launch site, to capture every angle of the mission. These cameras help SpaceX analyze the flight and landing in great detail, ensuring that every aspect of the test can be reviewed and improved upon for future flights. In the video, you can see some large flames, likely related to the one engine that didn't successfully relight for the landing burn. The presence of these flames indicates a complex dynamic where the engine's failure could have led to a potential imbalance in thrust. However, the design of the Super Heavy booster includes redundancy to account for such scenarios. The booster is equipped with 33 Raptor engines, of which only 12 were required for the landing burn. This redundancy ensures that even if one or more engines fail to ignite, the remaining engines can compensate to achieve a controlled descent. The other 12 Raptor engines successfully reignited, providing enough thrust to slow the stage for a soft landing. The flames seen in the video are a testament to the booster's robustness and the careful engineering that allows it to handle unexpected issues. This redundancy is a crucial part of the landing process, designed to ensure mission success despite potential engine failures. This landing process simulates an eventual flight profile intended to bring the booster back to the launch site. In a future operational scenario, the booster will return to the launch site and execute the landing burn just above the tower. As the booster descends, it will slow down significantly, allowing it to align between the two chopstick arms of the launch tower. These arms are designed to close under the catch points of the booster, securing it in place. The precision required for this maneuver is extraordinary. The booster must align perfectly with the arms while descending at a high speed, requiring advanced guidance systems and precise control of the engine's thrust. The flames seen during the landing burn also highlight the immense heat and power generated by the engines, showcasing the booster's capability to manage extreme conditions during re-entry and landing. Additionally, the landing burn not only slows down the booster, but also helps to stabilize and orient it correctly. As the booster approaches the landing site, it uses its engines to correct any deviations in its flight path, ensuring a vertical descent. This level of control is essential for landing the booster safely and accurately, especially when aiming to land on a narrow target like the launch tower's catch points. For an actual catch attempt, the precision needs to be even better. Landing on drone ships is one thing, but being caught out of the air is another. Looking ahead, SpaceX is gearing up for the fifth orbital flight test, scheduled for August 2024. This upcoming mission will be a comprehensive test of all systems, including the Mechazilla arm's capabilities in both catching and preparing the rocket for rapid reuse. The flight will also test the updated heat shield and new aerodynamic control surfaces designed to improve stability during re-entry. Additionally, the launch will carry a payload of small satellites to demonstrate Starship's versatility for various missions.
In addition to the Starship, the Falcon 9's consistent launch frequency has facilitated the expansion of the Starlink system, which now encompasses over 6,200 satellites in orbit, solidifying its position as the largest Internet satellite constellation. This has major implications for global Internet access, particularly in remote and underserved areas. While Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy have already made significant contributions, the future impact of Starship cannot be overstated. Once operational, Starship promises to accelerate the growth of the Starlink constellation, enhance the efficiency of space station missions, and support government satellite launches. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.